Tsunami cakes. You've seen them all over Instagram and today I'm going to attempt to create one. Plus nine. Plus nine others. How did they turn out? Uh, some of them are good, some of them are bad. But all of them were fun to make, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Stacy Abrams. Let's get into this video. Now, I know you guys have all seen this on Instagram, so have I. And I didn't like it when I first saw it, but I didn't really want to say anything until I tried it myself. And so I did. And then I tried it nine other times. For my cakes, I decided to go with a more cylindrical shape. So we got two six inch round cakes and this itty bitty doll cake that I created in my doll cake pan. I only used about a fourth of the batter so that I could create this shape. We got some buttercream in between each layer, a crumb coat, and then some more buttercream on the outside. I wish I had smoothened it out more, but I wasn't taking this seriously. <laughs> I kind of was just like, let's see if this works. I don't know, but hopefully. After that, I put my cake in the fridge and then I moved on to my doll. Now, the first thing I did was put her hair up in a ponytail. I was trying to get her hair out of the way, but also still, sort of make it look stylish because I still want her to look presentable. I removed her clothes and I created her top with white fondant. Just rolled it out and then wrapped my doll in it. Now I'm going to use a paintbrush and just brush on some magic sauce because I'm gonna stick on the same glitter that I'm gonna use for the rest of the cake and that way her top will match. Now for her glitter, I'm using granulated sugar and edible glitter. On Instagram, I know they just use pure edible glitter, but I don't know where you're finding that money. The stimulus check was only 600 and I got other things to pay for. <laughs> I put her in the middle of my cake, sealed her in with some buttercream, and started to work on the acetate. I'm just wrapping her with acetate. Oh my gosh, it's so iffy. I don't know if I'm doing it right, whatever. <laughs> and at this point, you can tell that I don't believe that this is gonna work. <laughs> this is why they use cardboard cutouts, you guys. The doll's hair is so voluminous and the hand is just almost touching the acetate. I don't know how you could avoid icing on the doll when you're peeling off the acetate. It's just, I don't think it's gonna work, but it's gonna be funny if it doesn't work. So let's see. Now we got the flooding icing going on and I'm trying very carefully not to get it on the rest of my doll. Look at me. Her right hand's gonna just, it's just gonna have to be covered in icing because it goes straight down. Now I got my glitter going on. Okay, now we're gonna pray to the gods and we're gonna lift the acetate off. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's so funny you guys. From the front, it's not bad for a first attempt. I got a little bit of icing on her hand. Her other hand is completely covered. But because I'm standing behind her, I can see the back of this cake and it is a tragedy. <laughs> her hair is like completely covered in icing. I didn't, it, it, it was unavoidable. It was unavoidable. Look at that mess. <laughs> How terrible is that? Okay. This is exactly why they do it with cardboard cutouts because it's so hard to do this with an actual doll. But I do have a bunch of dolls so I didn't want to do it with cardboard. And I wasn't going to do another attempt, but I had so much fun doing this that I decided to do it again. And for attempt number two, I'm doing it with Tiana. For the rest of these doll cakes, I decided to add some detail with fondant. Fondant pieces at the front that highlight more of the character. So for Tiana, we have leaves. Now, how is this gonna go? Let's see. <laughs> oh, it's not bad, right? I totally forgot to turn this cake around because there is icing at the back of her updo. It is terrible, <laughs> but I'm trying to make the best of the situation. <laughs> but it is there. Now, I didn't make the flooding icing as thin, which is why it didn't go all the way down to the cake. But that's okay, let's try it again. For attempt number three, we're doing Pocahontas. We got the leaves at the bottom to represent the colors of the wind. You know about that life. I love the colors of the wind, one of my favorite songs. Now I got some khaki looking sugar glitter. Look at me, just so unsure. I don't know if the front looks nice. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I did get a little bit of icing on the orange leaf, but that's fine. The rest of this looks bomb. Now for number four, we're doing Cinderella. I was gonna make like the Cinderella castle to go up front, but man, I was just too lazy. Laziness won, you guys, and so I ended up just creating three towers. Now let's pull it, let's just pull it. Come on, everybody's waiting for me to pull it. And voila, did I? Oh gosh, I pulled it too fast and that's why there's icing on the towers. 
Oh, but that's okay. It's, I'm so proud of it. Now you're gonna notice with these next attempts that I'm gonna cut the acetate at the back so that I can avoid getting icing on the doll's hair. That's pretty good, right? I got a little bit on the shell, but I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, I love her updo too. It's not completely up, but it is. For the next attempt, we're doing Moana. I was so confident, I was like, you're doing everything right. And then I noticed that I got icing on her hand, but that's all right. <laughs> Just brush it off, brush it off and move on. Was well, gonna use the same khaki as Pocahontas, but I really wanted to differentiate it. So this is more orange in it than khaki. Uh, come on, pull it off. We're all waiting for you, hurry up. And release the tsunami. There's a little bit of a mess up on the sides, but I didn't get any on the heart of Tafiti, so I'm fine with that, man. That looks good. Now, a lot of you told me that I was using too much glitter, but I really wanted this to feel like the tsunami in the movie, The Impossible. The water gets everywhere, and I wanted the glitter to do the same thing. Just, just all over my countertops, everywhere. I didn't even mind cleaning it up. Oh, oh, look at that. I didn't get any on the rose. If you're gonna attempt this, make sure you're doing it with dolls that have posable hands, because otherwise, their hands are gonna be covered in it. Oh, I got that poison apple at the front, you guys. That poison apple that put her in the ER on a ventilator for like two weeks, but she recovered. Look at me, I pulled it slowly. Oh, there's only a, oh. I got a little bit of icing on the top of the apple, but that's fine, just brush it off. Brush it off, boy. Keep on going. Now for Merida, I was really excited about making this bow and arrow. Parts of the arrow and the bow are just made with popsicle sticks. <laughs> I was gonna do it with like strings of fondant, but I just didn't have time, you guys. It's just too much stuff to watch on Netflix right now. Oh my God, this is a beautiful watch. Oh, wow. I think this is probably one of my favorites. I love the ombre effect on this dress. Merida, you look damn good. And my last doll cake, Mulan. I couldn't find my Jasmine doll cake. That's why she's not here, you guys. Oh, and my friend was like, why did you put a tombstone at the front? Uh, it's the end of her sword, okay? Gosh, and people wonder why I blocked them. Hurry, pull it. I wanna see it. Pull it slowly. And that was good. No icing on the sword, nothing. You did a good job, guy. Yeah, clap. I know you're gonna clap. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. Now, when I started making these cakes, I was still on the fence about whether or not I like this, and I think I like it. <laughs> you know, this is definitely not a cake that I would sell to anyone because it took me a lot of time to figure out how to take the acetate off properly. And if you're giving it to somebody who's doing it once on a very special occasion, they're gonna get icing everywhere. I don't want that kind of blood on my hands. I had so much fun doing this cake experiment. The whole process was a blast. The mistakes at the beginning made me laugh and just watching the flood of icing and all of this sugar glitter just blast down your cake. I think it was very therapeutic. And so if you are a cake decorator or if you are just a person with a kid who needs something to do and you got dolls, you should definitely try this. The flooding icing that I used is actually this. The cake is covered in like buttercream, but I used this for flooding icing. I was gonna use ganache, but the truth is that nobody's gonna eat this cake and I didn't wanna use expensive ingredients on something I knew I was gonna throw away. Flooding of the cake is just all about consistency of your icing. Consistency is key. So you could use store-bought icing, you could use ganache. The rule that I used with this was the amount of liquid I used to create my flooding icing would give it a consistency where it would pool and flatten out in the bowl at around 10 seconds. So I just mixed it, lifted it up with my spatula, and then if it settled around 10 seconds, then I knew that it was okay for it to sink down the side of my cake, you know. Now I know that I've been away for a little bit, but I have been pretty active on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are staying safe. I love you, I'll see you very soon. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. Here is a little tidbit. Now, so many people on Instagram asked what I did with these cakes after I finished because I made so many. And my little secret is, 
I made all of these Disney princess tsunami cakes with one cake. <laughs> I knew that nobody was gonna eat these cakes, so I didn't wanna waste a whole bunch of ingredients when I was creating all of the Disney princesses. So after I finished the Sleeping Beauty cake, I took my offset spatula, scraped off all of the flooding icing, put it in the fridge to set up, and then began the process with Tiana and the rest of the Disney princesses. That way, I didn't waste that much cake and you guys got to see multiple attempts at a tsunami cake. All right, I'll see you soon.